Listen to the Prophetic Voice Podcast with Prophet Isaiah Mokende. Unveiling the power of God, prayers, and prophecies, and speaker.com. Visit our YouTube channel, Prophetic Voice, and subscribe. God bless you. Hello, everyone. You are welcome back once again to another session. Today, we shall be dwelling on the book of uh, Prophet Obadiah. Prophet Obadiah. Uh, the book of Prophet Obadiah is the shortest uh, book in the Old Testament. Uh, Prophet Obadiah started his ministry between 853 to 841 BC. 853 to 841 BC. And uh, generally, there are two accepted dates to this prophecy. The first was uh, uh, is placed between 853 to 841 BC. Okay, shortly after the division of Israel into Northern Kingdom and the Southern Kingdom. Okay, and uh, another acceptable date is uh, when the Babylonians invaded uh, Judah in the year 586 BC. Okay, so it's generally believed that this prophecy could correspond to these two dates okay when uh, israel was divided into northern and southern kingdom and when uh, the judah was invaded by babylon and uh, that is in the year 586 bc so but what is there for us to note in this book of prophecy is that uh, is the message, the prophecy is against uh, the nation of Edom. Edom. Okay. Uh, the Edomites are direct descendants of uh, Esau. You know, Israel descended from uh, Jacob while Edom descends from uh, Esau. Okay. So both are blood relatives. Okay. They are brothers. And then in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 36, verse 6 to 8, Genesis 36, verse 6 to 8, we read how Esau left Canaan uh, to settle down in the mountainous area called Mount Seir. Mount Seir. Okay. Esau left Canaan. Okay. Because he became so much wealthy. He had a lot of cattles. And uh, he could no longer dwell with uh, Jacob uh, in Canaan. They couldn't stay together because they had, they were both rich, both wealthy, and so uh, the land was not enough for them to occupy. So he left Canaan with his wives and all he had to settle down in the mountainous area called Mount Seir. So Edom is strategically positioned on the high cliff, okay, and there is only a narrow gap that you could take to enter Edom. So over the years, Edom are so proud because of their uh, position on the high cliff that no nation could conquer them. And then over the years also, uh, they became more wise and then they had understanding. They had, they had a lot of wise men in their, in their nation. And also... Edom despised Israel. They hated Israel. Uh, and because of that, in the book of Numbers uh, 20, we read uh, Numbers 20, 14 to 22, we read how uh, the Edomites refused the Israelites to pass through their land, you know, to enter the promised land. You know, Israel had sent message to Edom that they want to pass through their land and they were not going to touch anything. They were not going to even let their cattles, even let their cattles to to touch uh, their, their crops. And they were just going to pass through. But Edom refused Israel to pass through. And then God told the Israelites that they should take another route. To enter the promised land. And of course, the Lord told them not to fight against Edom. He told them not to 
not to take their lands because they were brothers. God told Israel that you read that account in Deuteronomy chapter 2 also. Um, so Edom over the years had hated, you know, Israel. And there's one lesson that we need to learn in this aspect. You see, God judges every of our behaviors, even down to family issues. Okay, feuds between brothers, feuds between half brothers. You know, God judges. And then, uh, what He don't do to Israel, God eventually judged their actions. We read later on that uh, Edom, they, they encouraged the Babylonians to attack Judah. They were, the one that, they were the ones that encouraged the Babylonians you know, to invade Judah, to take them captives. They even went you know, and took advantage of that, uh, of that situation, of that invasion to even steal from Israel, to rob them. And also, they also uh, captured the fugitives that ran during that war. They captured them and handed them over to uh, to the Babylonians to be slaughtered. So Edom, they they did despicable despicable acts, committed despicable acts, and uh, uh, sold their brothers to the enemy. And so it's a great lesson for us to learn that God will eventually judge each and everyone's actions. Whatever you do to hurt God's people, to hurt your brother, even as a nation or as an individual, God will eventually judge you. Okay, God will judge you. So God judged the Edom, the Edomites. Uh, in the book of uh, Obadiah, there is only one chapter. And um, um, it's divided into two. You know, it, the first part is uh, from verse one to sixteen, where God, uh, you know, gave prophecy against uh, against uh, Edom and their destruction in Edom, uh, from verse one to sixteen. And then in from verse seventeen to twenty one, God talked about Israel's uh, restoration, how He's going to restore. The people of Israel. So it's the shortest book in the Old Testament. So I'm going to quickly uh, run through this chapter. So whenever you remember uh, the book of Obadiah, you remember the Edomites. Okay, that uh, this particular book uh, prophesied against the Edomites. Okay, and what they did. The evil things they did against the children of uh, children of Israel, and so uh, from verse one of this book, uh, the vision of Obadiah. Thus said the Lord God concerning Edom, We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made this small among the heathen; thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart had deceived thee. Edom was a proud nation. And thou art thou dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is I, and said in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Okay. They they so much believed in the habitation, they so much believed in themselves because they dwell on the high cliff. No nation can easily come to destroy us, no nation can invade us. See what God told them in verse uh, verse four. Do thou art, do thou exalted thyself as the eagle, and true, do thou set thy nest among the stars, then will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. You know, just as uh, we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 14, as Lucifer exalted himself, you know, on the, uh, exalted himself, and then uh, believed that uh, he could ascend the 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 throne of God, you know, God brought him down. The same way God brought Edom down. As a minister, as a child of God, don't think highly of yourself. Don't think that uh, you have all these gifts, you have all this anointing, powerful anointing, uh, powerful ministry, and you become so proud that uh, uh, you feel you are above all. 
God will bring you down. Okay? Always remember that God will bring you down. When you become proud and arrogant, God will certainly bring you down. And verse 5, If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape eras came to thee, gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is no understanding in him. You could see in this verse 7 that uh, even though Edom was, uh, uh, Edom dwelt on the high cliff, okay, they, they were betrayed from within, okay. Uh, even those people that he trusted in, they deceived him, okay. And then uh, through their betrayers, through their treachery, you know, they were able to be invaded by the Babylonians. And of course, this is the lost doing. Okay, this is the lost doing. All what Edom trusted, all what Edom trusted in. Okay, and all the people he trusted in, they betrayed him. And then uh, God eventually, you know, brought down Edom. That is what that verse 7 is. And all the men of their confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. You know, God can turn even uh, the best of friends. God can turn their hearts, you know, around to to become the any to become enemies. Okay, in order for His judgment, you know, to come to pass. Do you get it? Uh, the Edomites were betrayed. Okay, they were betrayed even by the men they trusted, even by the people that they were at peace with. They were betrayed and then they they they, they actually they they fell down. Okay. Uh verse 8. So shall I not in that day, said the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Okay, let me take that again from verse 8. Shall I not in that day, said the Lord? Even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mount of Esau. And thy mighty men, O Timan, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Okay? So from verse 1 to 9, it tells of the judgment that God is going to bring upon, upon uh, Edom. God was going to cut off and slaughter all the men of uh, of uh, of Edom because of their treachery, because of their sins against their brother Israel. Uh, from verse uh, nine, from verse ten, sorry, uh, to verse uh, sixteen, we are going to see the sins of uh, Edom against Israel. Now let's read: For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that strangers carried away captive his forces, and foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was one of them. Did you see? Even when the Babylonians came to invade Judah, you know, to, to, to burn down Jerusalem, Edom was part of them. Edom was among them. They rejoiced over the defeat. They rejoiced over the invasion of Judah. So God judged them because of this. God judged them because judged them because of their hatredness. How can you hate your brother? How can you hate your fellow minister of God to the extent that you pray for evil, you pray for 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 invasion, you pray for enemies to overtake him or her? So God is not happy with this kind of a be- with this kind of behavior. And so God judged Edom. God judged them because of their evil act against their brother Israel. And mind you, they are not just doing it. It has been long. It has been a long time they've been doing this. We read the account in Numbers 20, how they prevented Israel from passing through their land, just to pass through their 
land to enter the promised land they prevented israel from doing so instead they chased uh, uh, israel away and israel had to face the hostile nations in order to get through to the promised land if israel had been defeated by this israel uh, by this hostile nation what would have happened to israel now there wouldn't have been any nation called israel but thank god that god was with them they were able to defeat all the hostile nations before them and they assessed uh, the promised land so it's a great lesson to us okay no matter what is happening between you or your brother or your minister of or your fellow minister of god or your fellow uh, brethren try to forgive and try to what to have peace to make peace with them okay and don't be too comfortable in your high position or in your wealth or in your power don't be too comfortable that you neglect the poor people you neglect to help those that are in need okay it's a sin before the lord it's a great sin before god almighty even as a prophet of god you must have a clean heart a pure heart a clear heart okay towards everyone and i pray that the lord almighty will strengthen us okay back to the to verse 12 but thou shouldest not shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of judah in the day of their destruction neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress we have seen brothers eating each other to the extent that they plot to kill themselves we have seen the brother in the place in the in the, in the post of a uh, power in the post of a uh, uh, a high pos in a high position having wealth riches and could not help even his brother or his sister we have seen cases where brothers denied his own brother in order to get to power in order to get a particular inheritance so all these things are evil before the eyes of the lord okay so all these things were listed in the book of uh, in Psalm 137 verse 7. David also mentioned what the Israelite did. What I mean what the Edomite did to the people of Israel. He said, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. Psalm 137 verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, whom art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Okay, verse 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashed thy little ones against the stones. Okay, did you see that? That God judged Edom. Okay, their sons and daughters, their little ones were dashed against the stone. Amen and amen. I pray all this evil will not come upon us, will not come, come upon you. It will not come upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord Almighty shall always preserve us in the in Jesus' name. Amen. In verse 15, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the Eden. This is a very key verse for us to note. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the Eden, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Did you see that? What the Edomites did to the children of Israel, God rewarded them back, you know, their own uh, evil came upon their own head again. Okay, so let us be careful. Whatsoever evil you turn, do unto your brother, it will be done unto you again. So in everything in this life, you know, have a clear conscience, have a clear mind to your brother and even to God's people. God is even sending this message, this prophecy is also to all nations or any individual that is trying, that may try to hurt God's people. God will judge that person. God will bring the evil back on that person. That is uh, the key uh, message of this prophecy. Amen and amen. And uh, another verse to note in Obadiah, in Obadiah 1, 17. Obadiah 1, verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. Okay, now he's talking about the resurrection, Israel's resurrection. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. And there shall be holiness and the house of jacob shall possess their possessions okay i know this is a very familiar verse to to us uh this is the reason this is where it is coming from 
is God is talking about the resurrection restoration of uh, Israel even after the invasion okay that upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions amen and so and the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame and the house of Esau for stubble and they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau for the Lord had spoken it okay and this actually came to pass okay by the first cent- in the first century AD okay when the Edomites were totally uh, wiped off okay they were no longer in existence as a nation okay they became extinct from the face of the heart they became extinct from the face of the heart so the prophecy came to pass and then Edom was totally cut off can you imagine so as a child of God as a minister of God we need to be very careful you need to be very very careful do not eat your brother do not eat your sister do not eat God's people you know and uh, remember that God will always judge each and every actions uh, of everyone amen and amen uh, so that is the book of uh, that's the book of Obadiah it's a very short book uh, and it's one of the minor prophets as you have read it's only one chapter it is the shortest book in the in the old in the Old Testament. Amen and amen. I pray that the Lord bless us and increase us in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen to the Prophetic Voice podcast with Prophet Isaiah Mokinde. Unveiling the power of the word, prayers and prophecies and speaker.com. Visit our YouTube channel, Prophetic Voice, and subscribe. God bless you.